Good morning, family, and welcome to Two Sweet Gaming. Uh, this morning we're going to be playing some PGA Tour 2K21, guys. Uh, we finally made it to the FedEx Cup tournament uh, this season from the amateurs, and uh, today we're going to start that and play a couple tournaments for you over the next couple hours. I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. Um, today is my last day of holidays, so I'm back uh, at it tomorrow, back to work for the next two days. Luckily off uh, for the next two days after that on the weekend. Uh, going to be bringing you some great content all day today. I'm uh, going to be playing some more Call of Duty Warzone at 1 o'clock today, Eastern Standard Time, and probably around 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. Uh, very excited for all of that. Uh, I do appreciate everybody that's uh, going to come into the stream today and join me. We're going to get this started in just a second. Uh, just to let you guys know, of course, uh, don't forget we are partnered up with EmpireJerky.com. Uh, use that promo code, guys too sweet uh, to get that 5% discount. Alright guys, we're going to play at the uh, Katagawa Country Club. And uh, that's our first course of the day here at the PGA uh, Tour, the uh, pro golfers season. Two K Sports delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the TGC Open is about to kick off. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, it's like the first day at school, isn't it? This player's not right. Nobody's thinking about the money and the <laughs> excitement and the major wins. And this is honestly, you are literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. You really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play. But right. you just, that's the only thing that you can, let's just get going. That's <coughs> the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can. Like, All right, guys, first hole of the day. Let's see how we do. To say, well. <laughs> Is the right, yeah. First of many unbelievable opportunities. Listen, we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was, but right now, their one and only goal is getting that first two shot in play somewhere. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Hey, good morning. If you're in the chat, go ahead and say hello, guys. Choosing the 9-iron nine nine here. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Well, that'll work. Up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. Lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, man. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. He's in a share of 10th position. Here we are at the second tee. should find the cut stuff. Let's recap Ian Poulter's effort from just a short time ago. This was his fourth shot. Nicely hold. <clears throat> Nicknamed the postman because he always seems to showing me Ian Poulter's uh, fourth shot, eh? Poulter, of this tournament. A fantastic player and a fierce, fierce competitor. Ian Poulter has made a career out of demoralizing the Americans in the Ryder Cup, Luke. There's no doubt about that. But let's face it, there's hardly a player out there 
who gets the most out of his game. He's even acknowledged it. Hey, good morning, Brand. Welcome to the stream. Time. Welcome to the chat. How are you? This, there's very few players that are willing to work at it as hard as he is. He will sacrifice an awful lot, albeit no time away from his family. He will sacrifice. Thanks so much for the like. Appreciate that. If he thinks that it will make him a better player tomorrow. Doing really well. Really Second hole of the day here. Course. On the PGA Tour, open to. Uh, he's getting his just desserts now, with all the success he's having. Ah, uh, brutal. Something told me I should have went a, a bit more to the left. Oh well, two pars. That's fine. Better than going plus one. That par ensures he'll stay right there at even par. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. I know. Such a frustrating moment. <laughs> hey, I, I don't get as frustrated at this game, though, as I do. Uh... Hey, Michael. Well, thanks for the like, man, on the stream. Appreciate that, man. Definitely uh, don't get as frustrated on this game as I do Call of Duty Warzone. <laughs> Looks like All right, let's see what we can do here. Perfect. Exactly where we want it to be. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice game to play first thing in the morning when you wake up and you know. That one ranks right up there. Good look at a birdie here. Perfect. <clears throat> How's everybody doing this morning in the chat? What are you guys up to today on this uh, Wednesday? So Halfway through the work week. This player, moving up the leaderboard. Got a uh, golf tournament going on here. PGA Tour. First se first tournament of the season. So You're far in the top ten, guys. Step up to the tee and it. If you haven't yet hit that follow button, guys, please smash that follow button as we grow. We're almost at 3,500 follows. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for six. Opting for the nine iron. Should find the green here. Uh, it should be potable. Should be able to do it, guys. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. There we go. Perfect. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. And with it, he'll move <clears> a couple under par. I guess so far so good. Info down there? Well, I'm here on the fifth hole. Matt Kuchar just getting ready to hit from 120 yards out. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? Oh, wow. Just missed the hole. <clears throat> That's one of my opponents today. Uh, they're just showing us replays of uh, people's shots. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one shot lead. All right, second place. Not too bad. Seeing off here at the fifth. That's heading for the fairway. Luke, that did not end up where you said it was going to. It's in the rough. Uh oh, that's okay, guys. I've been in the sand before. And he's not hit the mark. <laughs> now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Ian How about we don't? <laughs> Players sitting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker. Wow! Oh, hit the hit the flagpole! <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that was a beauty. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. This one's looking good. Save par, yeah, luckily. You can take that. Just one off the lead after that hole. Welcome to this par five hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. There we go. Blast it. On this one. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Fun times. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. Oh, oh. Great. It just missed the hole. Oh, absolutely flushed. And this part for a share of the lead. Are you serious? Big putt for Pi coming up. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. <laughs> John, you're down there. What's happening? Well, guys, I'm down here on the seventh hole, and this is Matt Kuchar's next shot. This would be a great up and down. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> what? No way! Be a big boost to his that guy's crazy. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with the five wood. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Yeah, but too much power. This is from miles away. 64 foot. Holy shit. That's funny. Way off. Not sure if they... Understood the lie of the land there, Rich. Just six feet between he and the hole. Oh, nice looking putt. There we go. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. <coughs> All right, guys, still in the top this three here. here is a par four. First tournament of the day. That was absolutely murdered. go to the 15th where this happened just a moment ago Ian Poulter comes up with a beauty here and this guy again I gotta say his short game is one of the best in the game well, that's wow quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it but for it to go in that's awesome what a guy let's return to live play now this shot from around the 200 yard mark only one shot off the pace Opting Too for hard. The five wood. He's got this thing dialed in here, looking good. Not really. Don't know why you say it's good. It always bounces further. Getting ready to play their third. One stroke off the lead. Oh, five footer. It's amazing how two pros hold these. Starts off on a good line. Nicely hold. And for par. At minus two, going along nicely today. <clears throat> All right, guys, last hole before we get to the back nine. Here we are at the final hole on the front nine. Hope everybody's having a good day out there.
playing some PGA Tour 2K21, guys. Going to be on Call of Duty Warzone in the afternoon, so make sure you check back for that. Well, I like the look of the line here. They should find the fairway. John, you're down there. How's this ball lying? I love how it rolled. Yeah, they are deep down into this bunker. Uh, should be interesting to see how they escape this one. It's a good distance on that one. And here we are with the third shot. Just a stroke behind the leader. Well, this one's right at the pin. A oh, lovely looking shot in the birdie range here at the ninth. And the pump will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. And that'll put a little pep in your step up and down from the bunker in for the Oh guys, we're tied for first job. going to the back nine now. First tournament of the day. This hole is a very exciting. Four. This one looks to be heading down the runway. There we go, exactly what we wanted. Second shot here at the 10th. Looks to be going with the 5 iron. That's a pretty handy shot. yourself an opportunity in this one <clears throat> back to back birdies all right bit of work here Good chance to take it even deeper here this putts for four under Hell yeah. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Whoa, hold. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And now we go to the 11th, where this happened just a moment ago. Matt Kuchar with a fantastic shot. Look at this shot from the fairway bunker. What a stunt. Wow. If he would have sank it, I would have been, uh, would have been more impressed. So after get off my screen, bud. This is the <laughs> standings on the course. Let me get back to my game. Because guess what? Kucher ain't in first place. Howie Thompson is. It's time to begin this powerful hole. All right, 321 yards, guys. Our furthest uh, shot ever so far. Oh, are you serious? Why was that such a trash shot? I put a lot of power into that. Yes, man. I got fucked on that one, guys. It's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. This putt is of nine feet. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. It's half a chance of being hold this one. Ooh, <clears throat> that looks like a pure All right, guys, we'll take that par. Currently four under for the round. Ooh, tied for first day eh, with Gary Woodland. Let's see what All right, guys, we gotta get a uh, we gotta get another birdie here. That should find the surface. Well, that'll be one of the shots of the day, that's for sure. Not really. Not Standing happy with it. Approach shot. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. But in for birdie. Good Marcus stuff. There we go, guys. And that will take him to five under. Minus five, guys. 
and this effort by Justin Thomas. He's in the bunker. Not sure how this one's lying. John? Well, they're in deep here, guys. <laughs> kind of nestled into this sand trap. Let's see what happens. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. And after that hole, leading Gary Woodland by a stroke. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Good shot there. Getting ready to play their third. Ah, too hard. Eh, maybe not. That dog will hunt. Three feet to go here to the hole. There we go. That's six birdies today. Two in a row there. Luke. I want this tournament, man. I'm taking that first place spot today. <laughs> John, what's going on out there? He's down here on the 14th. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. And this pipe is four par. An uphill putt, too, it'll, of all. Oh, what a shot. That was it? That been a nice one to Why hold. are we watching that? He didn't even get it so in the hole. hole <laughs> Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And after that hole, currently leading Gary Woodland by a shot. Welcome to this hole. It's a par four. Well struck from around 220 yards. Opting for the three wood. Don't you roll, oh, you bitch. Yeah, that's lovely. Keep just keep rolling. Thanks. Terrible, man. Fucking terrible. School card filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. sure how that putt came up shy sometimes when you try and get it up the hill you just forget to hit it sometimes it seems so in this case job done let's head to the next that's oh, all right we got par guys we, we saved it shot after that hole the honor is yours time to hit a good one here at the 15th This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Hey, good morning, Ingrid. How are you? Thanks for uh, coming to the stream, taking a look. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Judging it beautifully. And with that putt, now it's six under with a few to play. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. 
And this effort by Justin Thomas. How about no? <laughs> Seems to have chosen the three wood. And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. That would be me. Looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 16th. Opting for the five iron. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Nope. And now intrepid on course reporter, John standing by. Well, guys, I'm on the 17th hole. This is Matt Kuchar's next shot. And far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. Okay, let's get back to the action. And here we are with the third shot. That's a wonderfully played chip shot there. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And in it goes for the par. And maintaining top <coughs> score on the leaderboard. All right, guys, we got two more holes to go. Two holes to go, Luke. Can Up by two. Hang on. Let's see what happens here at the 17th. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Second shot here on the 17th hole. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Looking good. Here we there. go, guys. Birdie. Another and birdie, man. He'll move to seven under. Incredible. Last hole here, guys. First tournament of the day. Hope everybody's having a good day out there on this Wednesday. Don't forget, guys, if you haven't hit that follow button, please smash that follow button. That's how we grow. We're almost at 3,500 follows, guys. Um, also, visit EmpireJerky.com. Use that promo code 2Sweet. Use that promo code 2Sweet and uh, save yourself 5% off at EmpireJerky.com, guys. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. All right, 3.30. 3.32. Furthest drive of the day, guys. Final hole. Trying to hold on. Uh, take this lead. People usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. from off this green here you'll win the tournament oh that was tidy that should ensure the up and down you better believe it is great stuff to watch and he can win the event here if he can hold this part I right, guess get this one in and we uh, win the tournament Ladies there and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think is going through their mind right now? Nothing. Uh, they're confused about <clears throat> everything right now. I tell you, you just, you win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. Well, what a memorable moment this is, Rich. Players never forget their first ever PGA Tour win, nor will this player. Great job. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elby. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
All right, Chad, we just picked up our first official PGA Tour um, tournament win uh, for the Golf Club Open Championship. Uh, we're heading on to our next tournament uh, in just a moment here, guys. As mentioned, we did just qualify from the amateurs uh, up to the PGA Tour to the, uh, to the pros. Um, as you can see, there are uh, quite a few good known golfers on this list, uh, Jim Furyk especially. Uh, so yeah, it was a great, great day all, overall, and uh, we're gonna continue, guys. Hope everybody, hope everybody is having a great day out there. Alright guys, we gotta ch uh, choose a sponsor here on PGA. Um, let's see who we got. Alright, we're gonna pick a sponsor, guys. Um, hmm, who to pick? Who to pick? I uh, really like Ben Hogan a lot, so I think we're gonna go with Ben Hogan. I wear a lot of Ben Hogan clothing myself, so definitely gonna use Ben Hogan as a sponsor. Uh, we're going to do the easy one for now, the contract. And uh, our challenges are finish around in a PGA Tour event with a score of minus four or better. Uh, I actually just did that with a minus eight. Uh, shoot three consecutive birdies or better in a single round. Um, I just had, I believe, uh, seven. Uh, hit 19 fairways in regulation. Um, all right, so, yeah, here we go. All right, guys, we're going to play the next uh, event. It's the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open uh, at the TPC Summerlin. And we're going to get the, those 18 holes started right now, guys. Don't forget, guys, later on we're going to be on Call of Duty Warzone at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time and 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight. So uh, make sure you uh, check in with those those times, guys. PGA Tour event brought to you by 2K Sports. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Luke Ilvey alongside Rich Beam here in Las Vegas. It's known as Sin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable. But still, having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas, and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course do the players need to roll the dice have a little gamble out on that course i think you have to gamble everywhere on the pga tour but in las vegas i think it's required isn't it you would not to let's get down to the action well you'd have to think this person's got a head full of confidence rich coming off a last start win the game is coming easy to this player right now so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week too hard Getting ready to play their third. Big pass over coming up for this fella. It's 
It's on a good line. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. <clears throat> Starting the round at even par. All right, guys. We're playing our second tournament of the day here. Uh, won the first the tournament there. TPC Summerland is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Well, Rich, in the thick stuff here, not a good spot to be. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for Terrible sure. Terrible swing. This would be a great up and down from this spot. <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. Well hold. Let's move on. So no movement there. He stays at even with the card. Not much happening. Moving down the leaderboard, never a good sign. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Playing from around 160 yards. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Yeah, this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? This looks like around 35 feet to the hole. <laughs> Opportunity to make their par. Ooh, nice line. Good putt, that. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole. Just be accurate on approach. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Damn it. That's not the outcome they were after. Coming up a little short with that effort. Not bad, though. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. That's tidy. Just a four footer remaining. I like the look of this. Solid power putt, that. All right, guys, we got to do better in par. Uh, we're not going to get anywhere in this tournament if we're just getting par. We're wasting chances here, guys. So we got to get going here. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. Tommy Fleetwood is atop the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. That's a hey, good morning, Derek. How are you, man? To hit the green, but Appreciate quite the like. Yeah, it took a bit too much club on that one. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. 
Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Well, that one's <coughs> behind us. More to play. Trailing by a few shots after that hole. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Oh, well done. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Hey, guys, I'm down on the ninth hole, and this is Kevin Kisner's next shot. <laughs> uh, in the PGA Tour tournament, uh, second tournament of the day actually in the season. Uh, I won first place last tournament. Um, I just actually qualified for the PGA Tour uh, season. I was in the amateurs and uh, finished second in the standings overall in that event. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Uh, wind's taking it a bit. That's puttable. Not a bad approach. Will be putting. Chance to get one under the card with this putt. It's on a great line. Oh, thank God. Woo! <laughs> and that will take him to one Close one. Hope you're having a good day, Derek. He's sharing 13th place. And after that good play, moving up. The yeah, going to be uh, the seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four, measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short. Going to be playing some more zone later, uh, probably Try one or two o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So uh, hopefully you'll be around to watch that as well, Derek. Uh, I got four wins total yesterday on Battle Royale uh, between two streams of uh, Call of Duty Warzone, so it wasn't too bad. Hi guys, this is uh, hole number eight, and we're looking at Cameron Champ at the moment. Cameron Champ is one of those players that exploded onto tour, Rich. He brought that power game with him and was a winner straight away, but now he's facing that sort of second-year syndrome, isn't he? He is, Luke, but he's one of these unique players where I think his power can get him through the tough times. I think that if he figures out a way to learn how to play the golf course on the PGA Tour effectively, even his bad weeks will start making cuts and being in contention a little more often. As with most young players, they just need time to develop. This one's online. Oh, come on. Seriously? Holy cow. And this putt coming up for his par. Oh, we got far. Currently one under for the event. Oh yeah, like uh, yeah, like pushing. Yeah, I know. Yeah, sometimes, man. The eighth at TPC Summerlin. I was wanting to uh to push pretty hard yesterday to too, but a well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Terrible, right in the sand. <laughs> that was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Well, definitely, the wind had to have gotten a hold of that one. Ah, uh, that was way too hard. Didn't realize I'd get out of the sand that, that good. to save his par. Up, it could be in. Woo, got it in. Oh, that's good grit there. And that is a nice up and yeah, exactly. The yeah, I know. I know. Bar. I had a little bit of an issue yesterday, too. Place. Yeah, last night I noted, I kind of noticed that. I was getting really frustrated, man. Uh, after I started playing last night again when, when you weren't with us, um, I was playing with uh, a couple other people, and I just felt like I was always the last one alive. Felt like I was kind of holding it together, and... Didn't uh, didn't really get any support from the back side, man, from the other part of the team last night when I was playing. Kept getting second place, man, every time. Oh, 
I just kept thinking to myself, you know, like last night when I kept getting second places, I was like, I wish I would have just had that other teammate with me at the end, you know, but they had already died and everything, so. <laughs> Let's take a look back at this just moments ago. But how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay? An absolute beauty here. Let's get back to it, shall we? Second shot here on the ninth hole. Here we are with the third shot. Four shots behind our leader. You want to move into the top ten on the leaderboard? Well, let's hold this. Hopefully, uh, if you play with me today, man, we can get on the right page. This is a good chance. Perfect. Here we go. We'll drop in for birdie. Oh, here he comes into the top ten with a bolt. All right, guys. This is the transition point of the Got to make up some time here. Heading for home. How do you rate Going to the back nine. So far? Look, they're in the top Still ten. Still got a bit of work to do. They're making a really nice push up this leaderboard. Let's see how they play over this final nine holes. Uh, not in the trees. Not in the trees. No, 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 no. Uh, that'll flick a few of the leaves going through there. Well, that sucks. Sitting at two under. Currently tied for seventh position. Choosing the nine iron here. And in the sand. <laughs> That's awesome. This is the kind of game I've been having, man. Well, it's fair to say that that approach didn't hit the mark. And coming up well short. What? Why the heck did it go so far? Okay, so Said to hit 100%. I didn't even hit it 100%. And he needs this to save par. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Go on, get in the hole. Ha <laughs> ha, you bitch. This is a bogey putt coming up. Dang it. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. All oh, right, on <laughs> white people. <laughs> That's awesome, man. Hope you do well at bowling, man. I love bowling. It's always fun. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole, par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs, and there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. All right, we're gonna make make up for this, guys. We gotta get this in. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? From about 100 yards. Five shots off the lead. Fuck, not good enough. The nine iron. Son of a bitch. This one is heading to a really not so good space. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Well, guys, I'm down on the 12th. Patrick Canley's getting ready for his next shot. Never easy playing out of those fairway bunkers. Keep your focus. Getting ready to play their third. Five strokes behind our leader. Terrible. Terrible event. This has been terrible. <laughs> I think I'm about ready to go play some Call of Duty soon. Holy cow. This one's not going so well. Nope. This one looking really good. Why lie to us? I love how the announcers always talk you up and just BS everybody. Bogey? Man, I'm really going backwards now. I uh, won the last tournament. Now I'm just getting my, my butt handed to me. Best we can do is like top five maybe. <laughs> Doing better than you a day, yeah. Jeez, man. 
some games it's like you're locked in and you're doing good and then there's other tournaments you know man where some courses are just messing with you like the wind's blowing a certain way or you know you're just uh you're just hitting it too hard or whatever it be man What the hell was that? Might as well have been in the water. Holy shit. Wind's just blowing hard that way. Yeah, I don't care about other people's plays. Like, let's go. Let's get this disastrous tournament over. <laughs> terrible, terrible shot. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, man. We golf. That's that's a fun one, especially uh, especially uh, bowling, man. We bowling is a lot of fun too. Hey, that's a chance. There we go. Thank God. Then down she goes. All right, we got par on that one. Let's try to get some birdies here, man. Let's get uh, let's get some rally going here. We got. Uh, Six holes left, guys. Let's get six, six birdies in a row, just because. Let's get six birdies. Make sure you're giving yourself the right number, because there's a lot to this green, and plenty of ways to three putt it. Be careful on approach. Let's have a look at. It's like Call of Duty Warzone, man. You get into a rut where you're just not having any good games. You get really tired of it, so then you're just like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and uh second shot here on the third I'm just gonna make it happen, you know. <laughs> Let's hope. On the green. On the green and two. I'll take it. That's like a forty foot no you roll. You bitch. You're going to keep rolling, aren't you? That's right. Stop. Well, that's showcasing <laughs> how there, Rich. Always like the aggressive 43 play. foot for and get putt. For it. Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Putt for an eagle. Let's do it. Screw it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Chance to move inside the top 20 if you can hold this putt. This one started out on a good line. There we go. That's well hold. All right, back in the top 20, guys. Let's uh. Tommy Fleetwood, our leader. Let's get five more birdies, guys, and we can tie the lead. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. Going with the eight iron here. Woo, back there, horsey. Too hard. I don't get it, man. It says 97%, and it's like you don't even do 97%, or at least you don't think you do. This would be a great up and down. And it still ain't good enough. Just 10 feet to the cup here. This one's dialed in. Yep, nice to make a mid range putt. Alright, well, at least we got par. At least we didn't screw that up. <laughs> the 15th, the TPC Sutherland, is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, You've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. Oh, this is not a good outcome. Buried in the deep stuff. That's fine. That's a good looking shot there. And this one to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. All right, guys. We're in the top 10. You heard him. <laughs> All right, I'm making a comeback slowly. 
Oh man, we ain't got no chance now. We gotta get like the leaderboard, never a bad thing. We gotta get like two eagles to win the game here, guys. The sixteenth at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes on route to the finish. That ain't gonna happen. Five playing five hundred and sixty yards. A well struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well. <laughs> down from over the back. Thanks, Derek. That easy. That's some good we'll see, right man. <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm going to hit this in the water. Yards here. Five shots off the pace. Well, they'd love a little bounce to the right here. I doubt it. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Oh, Spot way off. Important top five coming up if you can hold this. <laughs> ah. Just didn't drop. Too far. What an opportunity to make a birdie. The All right, we got a birdie. Back -to -back Wish I would have got that one, and I would have got an eagle. John, give us a small update. Well, guys, nice to hear from you again. It's been too long. We're uh, down on 17. This is Cameron Champ's next shot. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. All right, where are we at? Tommy Fleetwood is atop the leaderboard. All right, guys. Top six. Two holes to go. Best we can do is second place today, unless, uh, unless this guy really screws up his last two holes. Three, playing 196 yards. Jonathan Byrne once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shows right ball? to left towards the hazard, so make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. <laughs> I don't know what the hell just happened. Not sure if that's what they're intending to do. Needed to take a little less club on that approach. Right, I'll take that. Lovely touch. Well played. Gotta say, his short game is phenomenal. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Alright, didn't do what I was yeah, supposed to do, but that's okay. Course, already already frustrated with this tournament. Superb shot from Patrick Cantley. Simply amazing what he does from here. Alright guys, final hole of the day. Hole, that's how it looks. And uh, best we can do is probably third. tie for third. The 18th at TPC Sumlin is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the uh, right side. I'll have to adjust that, Derek. Figure group. out how you can. I'll have to do that, man. Needs to make a move soon. Still trying to learn everything with the stream, you know? in the chat room and everything. I'll, uh, I'll make sure to do that for you, man. Maybe I'll work on that right after this stream, man. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Currently four shots off the pace. Needs this one to kick right. Not quite. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hollow long one. Still counts. And this putt for a final score of 67. As you get to see a replay at, at the end here. Got it right in. <laughs> yeah, it's true, man. Yeah, definitely. We should definitely be doing Happy Gilmore. Well, Rich, after coming so close to going back Gifts, to back, man. Just for sure. Yeah, I'll work on that this afternoon for you, man. Just got a little bit too much for them. Luke, this player did everything to seal back-to-back -back wins on the PGA Tour. Unfortunately, coming up just a uh, tied short. for third, guys. Still, still a good awesome tournament. Weeks. Still good play, but uh, well, made too many myself, mistakes. Had too many pars. Could have at least came second we'll place today. It happens, but we got 100, 134 points, so that's all that matters. Let's see how the leaderboard looks, guys. 
Uh, looks like I have a sizable lead right now in the standings. Uh, 200 points over second place. So uh, after winning that first 500 point uh, tournament, and now third place in this one. Uh, we're going to go ahead and play the third uh, tournament today, guys. The Southern Open at Hickory Creek. Gonna see if we can add uh, add these gifts. Okay, let's see here. See how we do it. Um, let's see, guys. See if I can find this out for you. Hello and welcome to our 2K Sports PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Southern Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elby with Rich Beam in the booth, and we've got John McCarthy down on the course. Good day, Luke. Happy to be here at Hickory Creek. And uh, wow, talk about a first hole. Have you seen the landing area these players have to deal with? Pretty narrow out there, and there's bunkers flanking on either side. Can't wait to see what unfolds here today. It's going to be fun. Let me see if there's an option on here, Derek. Um, yeah, for the beef jerk or for the beef jerky. Um, let me take a look at the list again. Uh, definitely try the dragon's breath, man. It was actually really good. Um, and uh, mango habanero was actually pretty good too. Uh, they're they're a little warm, uh, but. Uh, you know it's pretty good pretty good product so I actually just put in another order for some buffalo and Hawaiian barbecue so definitely check that Empire Jerky out man and uh, let, let everybody know EmpireJerky.com use that uh, promo code too sweet get that 5% off man uh, let's take a look see if I can figure this out at a at a gif here Gotta be a way to do it. Wonder if I can do it right on the stream here. Mm -hmm. oh, there's gotta be a way, man.
Yeah, man, Hawaiian barbecue, definitely, dude. It's like a mild flavor, but uh, there's some good flavor to it. Definitely try it out, man. It's definitely worth getting. A lot cheaper, uh, a lot cheaper in the U.S. to to buy this stuff, so. I'm gonna check this real quick, one second. Might be another option here. Yeah, we can do that, no problem there. I didn't realize I could do that. That's funny. <laughs> I just pressed the stars button and had some stars left over to donate to other streamers. Apparently, I can actually donate it to myself. I had no clue. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, let's see here. Might as well just give myself the last hundred. <laughs> That's too funny. Kind of pathetic. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I'm trying to figure this out, man. Do you know? Do you know a way to do that, uh, Derek? At all? To uh, to add these gifts? I'm trying to find out, but nothing's nothing's coming up at all, buddy. Might have to ask another streamer. Facebook's so weird. Sometimes it works better with Twitch. Really with Facebook you can't? That's that's really lame man. That's that's brutal. I could have swore you could have, but because I remember at one point somebody somebody else's stream I thought I saw a bunch of those gifts in there, but I don't know man. I'll have to take a take a better look at it later, man. Uh, I'm just gonna get back into the into the tournament here and finish this up so we can take a small break and come back with some Call of Duty later. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? 
All right, that's gonna go in the sand, maybe. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh, that's too funny. Second Give myself stars. That's ridiculous. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Terrible. Yeah, the punch didn't seem to fit their eye. Oh, as we can see there, the wind definitely affecting that shot. Oh, man, that should have went in. Oh, you can do stickers? Maybe we have to add stickers, like custom stickers to our... Uh, to your own Facebook or something, and then and then you can post. I think that's how you do it. Maybe, maybe not. Starting the round at even par. <laughs> like I can, like I can put that up there, but I can't do. Uh, Maybe I have to upload some or something. It's strange, man. I might be playing on Twitch uh, eventually anyways, more so than Facebook. Uh, down the stretch. I'm just trying to get more followers on Twitch right now, but uh, eventually I think I might just be streaming Twitch um, instead. We'll see. That's fine. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Down here on the third hole. Some other guy's shot we gotta watch, really. So he can uh, show off and say show how much better he is than me. Yeah, look at that. Getting ready to play there third. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Going with the pitching wedge here. Pitching wedge sucks. My caddy's fired. Get the hell out of here, man. What the hell are you suggesting to me? <laughs> oh, a little shorty baker on that action there. Terrible. Well, well played. Up here. Really? That's weird. I'm surprised it goes that way. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. Dang it. Oh, see that line was looking good, wasn't it? <laughs> was yeah, man, definitely. <laughs> one shot. Definitely. Yeah, well hold. Let's move Twitch is different, man. It's really uh I, I don't know. I find it a little more complicated as far as uh, as far as the chat goes uh, for for the end user. We've arrived at a par four. Yeah, we made it. We made it back on the fairway. That's all that matters. John. What's going on? Talk to us, Goose. I'm down on the seventh hole, and this is Billy Horsham from 30 feet. Let's return to live play. Uh, I might might not be on Second Twitch for a little bit good. still, though. Might take some time, man. Facebook's Facebook's pretty it's simple. It just sucks that they don't have any any Six. any gifts. <laughs> A six iron out. <laughs> oh man. Well, a little off the target with that. Yeah, really. Probably have better luck. Swirling in this part of the golf course. Oh, that's great! It just missed the hole. Wish I would have popped it in the hole. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Don't mind the look of this. Oh, come on, man. Can I get a break here? Holy cow. 
This has been it terrible. Goes, and that's unfortunately back to back bogeys. Back to back Two bogeys, bogeys guys. Not very good. good sign. Have to see if they can now we're gonna have to that. really work on this. We have a par four on this one. That should find the fairway. All right, time to turn it up, guys. We're uh, falling behind here. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Going with the six iron here. Damn that wind, man. I'm hating this wind. And he's not hit the mark on that approach. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Not bad. Seven footer right here. Good looking putt. Well hold. All right, we got par. Got to do better than that, man. Got to start focusing. Let's see what <laughs> Looks like they've got the five wood. Wow, that's the that's the worst shot I've ever seen. Air mail the green with that approach. Slow down. Holy cow, man! I'm all over the friggin' place here. I'm starting to get frustrated. This is BS. <laughs> and here we are with the third shot. Five shots off the lead. I'm gonna have to go back to the amateur league pretty soon, man. Just about eight feet left to the hole. Putt is underway. Well, that'll avoid a number of drop shots. Well, hole. Well, that's a shame. That'll drop them down the standings. That's for sure. You think? Time to tee off at the sixth. You guys are expecting too much. Just because I got first place and third place. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Here we have Cam Champ from just They're judging me. Do you hear these guys judging me? He's a long way away, but he's feeling it today. <laughs> yeah, it never happened, man. Never. Well, this one might need to get down a little. Oh, come on, man. It says 95% power. You need to hit it 95% power. A shame. I hit it like green, not even 90%. Can't fault him there. This rough is nasty. No fault missing the green. Jesus. Can't win, man. Some of these courses are such a lie. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the power on the car. Got a chance. Ooh, Why do you right do me like this every time? This one's for bogey. Alright, I think it's safe to say after this tournament, guys, I'll be get off the stream and uh, we'll be on Call of Duty in just a little bit after that. After I go grab something to eat. Because this tournament uh, right now is a total complete write off, guys. This looks to be a fair way seeker to me. I might as well hit it in the sand every time. I got a better Let's have chance. A look at Billy Horschel from earlier. <laughs> Lining up for his second. Okay, let's get back to the action. Derek, what do you do for work, time man? For the second shot here at the seven. <laughs> right in the sand. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. This has been great. This has been so good. Oh, I love it. <laughs> oh, it's really going to affect our points in the standings, man. Yeah, you might not mind the par putt, but doesn't mean I'm going to get it, man.
Get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Uh, no. You. And this one will be for Bogey. You dirty bee, biatch. <laughs> oh, an accountant right on, man. That's awesome. Good that's stuff. Now five over for the round. I forget where about are you from, man. Slowly but surely on that leaderboard, Luke. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. We're gonna bounce back after that bogey, and they've got a great opportunity here. Not when it's going that way. Why does it keep veering that way? Oh, I guess it helps if I hit the hit the damn ball straight. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality. Oh, that's veering to the left more than I've ever seen anything. Oh yeah, it's just gonna roll down the hill, is it? All right, so that means we gotta take it this way. Like way this way. And it's still gonna roll down the hill. Maybe not. Not quite. Ooh, just hammered that through the line. This putt is about eight feet. Oh, what a stroke. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. <laughs> yeah, right. The first the first nine play. of this has been <laughs> horrible. Uh, what am I at? Friggin' my plus four, shot. plus five. He's a sharp just horrible. From short range, isn't he? Gonna have to spend yeah, half the uh, back nine here just making up for that. Plus five. <laughs> Probably last place, man. Gotta be last place right now. I want you to know that. Thank you very much. You're a gentleman and a scholar. That's not what he had hoped for. I'm pretty sure of that. And our man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, they're going to need to be careful getting out of this one. It is deep, deep into this rough. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. And rolling downhill. Yep, that shot safely on the green. All right. Same chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh baby! And you hold it. What a monster. And it's Got the birdie on that one. one. Best shot of the day, probably. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead, and they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Is a good chance to maintain the momentum. Second shot at the tenth. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Sweet. This tournament's going great. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Well, story of the day for this player is just missed too many greens. You can't afford to do that. That's on the green, but still a fair way from the hole. Nine feet to the cup. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. This one's tracking. And in it goes for the par. Yeah, man. Sounds good, Derek. No worries, man. Definitely. Not a problem at all, dude. Um, you'll see, you'll probably see the, the notification anyways that I'm on, so yeah man, hit me up later, for sure. Thanks again for coming in this morning, man. Appreciate that. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. 
All right, chat. Not doing too well on this tournament. Did well earlier. Got first place and third place earlier, but this tournament's uh, not going too well. Oh, that was left all the way off the club. Yay! Gotta love the sand. It's fair to say that wasn't their best shot. Oh, look at that. The wind just wreaking havoc with that shot. Disappointing. I'll tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Our player currently in second, making a really great shot. Opportunity to save par here. Yeah, right. Save par, he says. <laughs> hey, thanks so much for the like, man. Appreciate that. How are you today? This should drop. Okay, Not quite. Yeah, this one is for bogey. All right, well, we're just doing terrible today, guys. It's been a terrible, terrible tournament. We have a par five Can't wait to get this, this shit over with. That's not the one he wanted. Time to step into the bunker now. That's ah, heading to the rough for mine. That's it. It's okay. And here we are with the third shot. Pretty good win. Back into the player's face. Oh my lord. Why doesn't this shit hit hard enough? Playing their fourth shot. Putting for par. Not a bad line, this. I like their courage to be able to get that to go down and save the hole. Absolutely. In the bunker, off the tee, getting that one. That is a Brucey bonus. This one might just sneak off the fairway. Every fucking time, man. I don't get the it. Man on the ground, John McCarthy would have a better look at this. How's it lying? Well, pretty shallow lie here in the sand. I don't think it'll be too hard getting out of here. It's a chance still to get up and down if they can hold a monster. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Was that a good line? This part of about seven feet to the hole. Okay then. Awesome. Putting for bogey. Job done. Let's head to the next. Currently at six over par. Terrible, terrible day. The worst. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway.
John, what's going on out there? Well, taking a look at Cameron Champ down here on hole number 15. Well, it's a chance for a good shot here from the fairway bunker. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Wind back into their grill. They need to flight this one down. Okay, with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. That's not what they're looking for. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. Mm -hmm. Straight out of the top drawer. Judging it beautifully. He has this. Oh, just missed. Well, it's just about three feet away. Ooh. Oh, dear. This next putt now for double bogey. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Sitting at eight over for the round. And moving down the leaderboard as well. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. All right, Chad, we're going to get into the Hello next everyone. tournament here. Delighted to have your company here on 2K Sports for our PGA Tour action. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey, proud to be alongside 2002 PGA winner Rich Beam. What's this opening hole like? Caramel Creek opening hole is a tough one, 452 yards. A very picturesque opening hole. Fairway dog legs from left to right. The fairway bunker down the right-hand side shouldn't see much action. Generous fairway just over that. Second shot plays back up the hill. There's a deep bunker waiting for any wayward shots over the right-hand side. An opening par four here is job well done. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. This putt coming up is for birdie. This one has eyes for the hole. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Absolutely. Love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. That one's heading down Broadway. From around 170 yards here. with the five iron here. Well, well played. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Get in the hole. Down it goes. So that's back to back birdies. Back to back birdies, guys. Two in a row. He's feeling it. It's going to be the last tournament of the day, guys. Then I'm going to get off stream, grab some lunch, and I will be back at 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time for some Call of Duty Warzone, guys. Try to get that uh, 100 win today on Call of Duty He's Warzone. In a share of sixth. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Teeing off here at the third hole.
Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. He's already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Always lovely to see a long-range bomb made. Let's recap it. 12 feet to the cup coming up. It's tracking. A well holds. He'll take the birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. He's currently tied for second. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. And after a birdie at the last, we take the honor on the hole. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Coming off a hat-trick of birdies. That's great momentum. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Well, it'd be nice to make this one. This one's for Eagle. Tracking. Got an eagle. Sweet. Right on, guys. All right, playing a lot better right now. That's much better. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Only my third ever eagle, guys. Some golf back there. An eagle. How good. Wow, what a shot. What a bad line, this one. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Quality shot that one. Let's see if we can make this big putt for Birdie. Statement right there. That sets a positive <laughs> tone for the player, doesn't it? Let's have a look at Bryson DeChambeau from earlier. Can't touch us. Dun, 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 dun. Let's dun, dun, Can't touch us. Dun, 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 dun. Having a good game now, guys. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard That's works. for sure. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Here we are at the sixth hole. Nicely done. Good mid range putt, this one. An 18 footer. Just Not quite. Point. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Can't get them all, guys. And on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? I'm down here on the seventh hole. This is Cameron Champ. Oh, almost went in. Gary Player couldn't play bunker shots any better than that. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, I love these holes. The short par four. Do you be bold or lay up? Standing on this par four and leading. What's the strategy? What's going on through their mind? Attack it or lay back?
Let's see what we can do here, guys. Where butts are they? Right there. Hell yeah. Yeah, it should finally count stuff. Second shot here on the seven. Perfect. Lines it right up. Get it to seven under par with this putt. Oh, it's veering off, eh? Oh, wow. Ooh, almost. That would have been a nice one to hold. And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Now leading by one shot. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eight. Wonderfully played. Going with the five wood. This is some ball striking. Hitting greens and regulation, it's a thing of beauty. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green and regulation. This one's looking good. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to eight under. Got an eagle, guys. Awesome Second eagle of the day. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, we're here on the 11th hole. This is Grayson Shambo. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh, that almost went down. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Yes. Very smooth tempo there on that chip. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Oh, absolutely flushed. Second shot here on the ninth. Going with the hybrid. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. What a quality shot, that. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. This one's online. Oh, so close. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. All right, guys. We're in the back nine now of this tournament. Uh, looking to secure some more points so we can get back into first place in the standings. Uh, if you haven't hit that follow button yet today, guys, please smash that follow button. We're uh, getting really close to that 3,500 follows uh, so far. We do have stars activated, guys. Great way to uh, support the stream. We're still looking for that 20,000 star goal, guys. Uh, the reason why we're getting the 20,000 star goal going is uh, because if we get to 20,000 stars, uh, we're already over the uh, 1,000 follower mark, so then that's uh, the second step out of three steps towards getting our, ourself a uh, supporter button for this stream, uh, for the community, for you guys, uh, so I can 
obviously bring you guys better content. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. This one might need to sit. That a boy. Good shot. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Down here checking out Cameron Champ, and this is the 11th hole. We have left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Nope. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. Starts off on a good line. And there it is. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. We should find the fairway. And now we go to the 14th, where this happened a moment ago. The scientist, Bryson DeChambeau, with a fantastic shot. This is his third. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at eight under. Currently in the lead. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. This one's for birdie. Ooh, nice looking putt. There we go. And Perfect. Another birdie, guys. Put it on the board. finds him in first place time to make a move the tea is yours here at the 12th hole this hole is so gettable they're definitely looking to extend that lead by one or maybe even two strokes once the hole is finished pretty good shot there for the five wood just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right well that's showcasing their power there rich i tell you you just dream about days like today greens and regulation spot on all day awesome Not quite, guys. Ouch, that hurts. So close to the eagle. Always nice to hold those for birdie. Back to back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by four strokes after that one. And we've arrived at a par three. with the seven there's been some great action out on the course let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play well Cameron Champ he went after it here, didn't he? Third shot now. 
This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Saver coming up for this fella. Nice stroke. Come on, man. Get in the damn hole already. And this next putt, it's for bogey. Okay, let's head to the next. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by three strokes. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. <clears throat> and this shot from about 170 yards out. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. 19 feet to the cup. It was on a good line. And this one is for his par. And down it goes. John, give us an update. What's shaking? I'm over on the 17th hole. This is Bryson DeChambeau. Playing their fifth shot. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by three. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Looks to be a fairway finder to me. And taking aim from around 100 yards here. Opting for the 9 iron. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Looking really good. Okay, steady now. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that putt drops. Now nine under as we head to the stretch. <coughs> And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. Still in the lead now after that hole. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Well, there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament, and that's exhibit A. That drive was simply astonishing. Well, every week, there's a certain bunch of players that everyone keeps an eye on. This one seems to be exactly in that company. One of the strong favorites to win, don't you think, Rich? It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. down that's birdie number seven on the scorecard and after that performance they'll stay right where they are in the standings two holes to go luke can they hang on let's find out
Second shot here on the 17. And here we are with the third shot. Time now for the fourth shot. Great touch. Really nicely played. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Leading by three strokes now. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. All right, guys. Final tournament of the day. Then I'm going to get off the stream, grab something to eat, and uh, be back with some more Call of Duty Warzone right after, guys. Uh, this is the final hole of the tournament. We are in first place. Uh, we sink this with no issues and uh, we'll win the tournament. Oh, this one looks to be hitting down the runway. This shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Outside chance here for the birdie. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. been an impressive display today make this and you'll sign off on a 62 looking good well you got to take your hat off to them rich just an outstanding all right guys we won the tournament second one of the season playing awfully well second let's see if they can second uh form. well that's worth reviewing second tournament win out of four of the season guys Rich, I think you mentioned earlier that this player was your favorite. Well picked. Oh, listen, I, it's not a hard pick, is it? This player has consistently been there all season long. There's no reason why not to pick them to win. They just make me look smart. That's about it. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. All right, guys, as you can see, uh, we got first place in the FedEx Cup standings, uh, doing really well, and uh, definitely on track to uh, win it all. Um, we have a few events left, guys. Uh, it looks like we have... Okay, so yeah, it looks like we have 29 more uh, tournaments to go this season, which is great because that brings a lot of uh, content for me to stream to you guys. Uh, we'll probably be playing after today um, on Thursday evenings, um, maybe even uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we'll see. Uh, maybe Sundays as well on the weekend. Uh, definitely will let you guys know. Um, it's been a great stream. Appreciate everybody that's coming in this morning to uh, join me on PGA Tour 2K21. Uh, I'm leaving you right now. Got to go grab something to eat, guys. Uh, like I said, I am on holidays today, my last day today. So I will be uh, back on the stream this afternoon uh, around one o'clock eastern standard time for some call of duty warzone please join me let your friends and family know
And uh, if you haven't hit that follow button yet, please smash that. And of course, guys, as always, don't forget to go to EmpireJerky.com and use the discount code, promo code, too sweet to get yourself 5% on all beef jerky. Take care, guys. We'll see you in just a